I'm Vitor Cardoso and I, I was born in Portugal. I do physics and I do physics because when I was very young, I must have been 12 or so, I realized that I was fairly good at mathematics and I like to understand things. I like, I enjoy understanding how things work. Now I quickly realized also that we knew practically everything about how the universe works, the fundamental interactions that govern matter. Except one, we didn't understand how gravity works. We still don't, by the way. And especially when gravity is strongest, and gravity is very strong, it's extreme, close to black holes, inside black holes. And that kind of raised my appetite, my curiosity, to understand more. I was lucky enough that I started my PhD in Lisbon University exactly at the time when a German team was looking to the center of our galaxy. There's a huge black hole there. And I was lucky enough also, I was doubly lucky, that when I finished my PhD, we started building a gravitational wave detector to actually see gravitational waves from black holes. Now, how do we study black holes? How do we study things that we don't see? Well, we have to understand what we expect. And all the properties, all the behavior of black holes is written down in Einstein equations. These are Einstein equations for a black hole. And all the possible behavior of black holes is written down here. We just need to be clever enough to extract it from here. And when you do that, you'll realize that black holes have a sound. If you stir a black hole, it will generate a sound that looks like this. This is the amplitude of your sound wave, your gravitational wave actually, as a function of time. It looks like this. You disturb a black hole and it generates gravitational waves that eventually die down. They ring down. The black hole relaxes to nothingness, to a vacuum again. So my job is very simple. My job is to listen to the universe and see if the sound, the gravitational wave that a black hole generates is in accordance to the prediction by Einstein. If it's not, if we see something unexpected, it might mean that black holes don't exist, or it might mean that quantum effects are such that they totally change the classical prediction of Einstein. This would be a revolution. The Legendary science. Institute was built and started working a hundred years ago. There's a hundred years of history here. History that reshaped physics, that reshaped what we know about science, how we do science, how we interact as a community. And now, the future is being done now, at the Niels Bohr International Academy, we have the new Bohrs, we have the new Lisa Meitners, we have the new Heisenbergs, the new Fraunhofer, all of them are here, all of them visit the Institute, all of them interact, work, do the calculations here. It's an amazing environment, it's an impressive environment. And now I'm going to lead you to what is, I, I think, the most historical room in the world, in the world of science, in the world of physics, certainly. It's the famous Auditorium A, where everybody sat. So we're going to sit there. This is the, uh, the famous auditorium where Paul Dirac, Eisenberg, Lisa Meitner, of course, Niels Bohr, and hundreds and hundreds of European, non-European, Asian, American scientists sat down for decades and basically reshaped physics. We want to question the pillars of modern physics, the pillar of a fundamental interaction called gravity. It's a really ambitious science, and this ambitious enterprise cannot be done without ambitious institutions to support us, without ambitious funding. And the Willem Foundation and the Danish Research uh, Foundation from step zero said we want to do that. We want to change physics in Europe. We want to understand gravity. We want the best group here. And it would not be possible without such generous, bureaucracy-free and ambitious way of doing science. I'm really grateful, but I think it's paying off clearly. So, of course, this group is looking for spectacular things. We're looking for bizarre objects out there. We're looking for things that we don't expect. We're not the only ones. Half the world is looking for this. Half the world is expecting that there's changes 
to the fundamental laws of physics. We're looking for a revolution. And so, of course, everybody wants to be doing the same. So we started getting visitors. There are just too many. We have visitors every week. We are organizing meetings every other week. Actually, we just finished a, a, a very interesting meet, uh, meeting on the future detectors, detectors that are going to fly in space to look for gravitational waves. And it's a pleasure to host visitors at this historical auditorium where physics was born, where quantum mechanics was designed and the future of physics, as we know it now actually, was discussed. This is the Cathedral of Physics at the Niels Bohr Institute.